It was a day full of tears inside the courtroom as Isaiah's now nine year old sister took the witness stand telling stories of abuse after abuse. But the most emotion the jury showed was when she testified that Isaiah would often be forced to sleep in a cage. Most nights he slept naked. This, she said, was to prevent him from getting food. A photo of the cage was taken in as evidence. Isaiah's sister told the jurors that there was one time where Isaiah was forced to stay in a trash can locked inside the bathroom. She said her, quote, old dad Mauricio hit Isaiah with cable cords and sticks often. During the camping trip where prosecutors say Mauricio raped and killed Isaiah, his sister told the jury she saw him in the bathroom with his arms and legs tied together with shoelaces. She says she saw some of what happened when prosecutors say Isaiah was sodomized by his father. She said Mauricio also told her at one point, quote, don't tell anyone what happened, end quote. The jury then heard from the medical examiner who conducted Isaiah's autopsy. He says Isaiah was chronically abused, noticing close to 100 injuries on his head and back alone. He said he had teeth knocked out, nose broken too. It was an emotional and tough day for many people inside the courtroom today. The jurors were shown pictures of Isaiah in the medical examiner's office. One juror asked for a box of tissues. Another juror cried uncontrollably. One juror kept wiping away her tears. In Bentonville, Una Lee, 4029 News.